We have a great video for you guys today. We're gonna show you a bunch of our skink babies. So we have a ton of skinks and we're gonna be starting to sell these soon. And a lot of people have been asking us about it. So we're gonna show you those. We have some mail that we're opening. We have like some ball python stuff that we're gonna show you. So stay tuned. All right, I'm gonna open up some mail real quick. I'm not gonna show everything like we normally do. I'm just gonna, you know, cut through it. But uh, I just want to, you know, open up this one. We'll show this one first. It's Pro Coco. This video has been sponsored. To this. <laughs> mm, we didn't have to. Do, do you want to get a close up? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, they are a sponsor. This video has been sponsored uh, by Pro Coco. So they sent us some shirts. Um, has Pro Coco on the front. They're not slacking, as Billy would say. Pro Coco on the back. Um, and they're sending us a free pallet of Pro Coco. Really appreciate that. Thanks for uh, doing that. That's really nice of you. Um, <clears throat> also, if you guys can do me a huge favor, can you like this video? Uh, we really appreciate it. It really helps us out. And uh, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe and the notification bell. And uh, so we got these t-shirts from Pro Coco. That's cool. All right, so we got some mail and I'm just gonna real quick run through it. Um, Illinois, this doesn't say who it's from, so we'll get to that. Port City Reptiles, uh, Royal Morphs UK, Embers, Both Pythons, and No Fear Reptiles. So I'm gonna just open those up real quick and then I'll show you guys the end product. Well, it looks like we opened a, a bunch of envelopes to show them off, but No Fear Reptiles, Port City Reptiles. Uh, this is Ambers, uh, Embers, sorry, Ball Pythons. Like fucking uh, light. light. <laughs> no Fear, Port City Reptiles, and Royal Morphs UK. Um, so, very cool. But then also a special shout out to Tristan. So our friend, our good friend Matthew Most, his nephew I believe um, we sent him a bunch of stickers for his birthday and he sent us a thank you card it's very nice armor reptiles thank you so much for sending me all those stickers for my fourth birthday Tristan he even signed it Dang, he's got good handwriting for four yeah I mean I think his mom might have <laughs> alright but so yeah so thank you but anyway thank you so much and uh, thank you for all the, the support and we really feel the love um, keep sending us stuff we enjoy it just cutting in here real fast to show you a clutch that just got laid. This is from our fire spot nose hit lavender clown, possible hit pied male, to a pastel leopard hit clown female. And it looks like we got five eggs. So I'm going to pull these guys and get them set up and candle them. Hopefully they're all good. And fingers crossed, sometime mid August. We have some Batman combos. So we're just gonna jump right into the skink show. Don't dance, Ben. We produced, we didn't produce a lot of Northerns this year compared to other people, but we produced 30 and we're very happy with them. We also produced 47 Easterns, which is pretty good, I think. Could be a record. I don't know about that, but maybe. <laughs> um, so we'll jump into some northerns. This is from a. Is this one? Hold on. Yeah, this is from a German female that we imported. So this is our first time breeding. And we ended up getting some really nice orange, red, and white kind of babies. Hopefully the lighting is good. Mm -hmm. People are going to have trouble telling what, you know, how dark this the cherry head is this is our cherry headline <laughs> hey man we gotta start naming them but it is kind of funny because all the babies in that litter are very highly colored orange and red with don't bite me these white borders and like the side flames where's that one I showed you remember that one I just showed you Ben? No, oh, get over here <laughs> Come on. Wow. That is the one that kept on trying to jump out though. So funny. 
this one didn't really shed yet but still looking nice you can see these colors develop a lot over the first six months so the fact that they're very high red and orange right now is a good sign You just let them bite you. I don't want them to hurt their jaw. Yes, because your hands are steel. Look at this. You have hands of steel. I have buns of steel. Also, don't want them to jump out of my hands all the way on the floor. That would suck. I agree with you there. That one is true. Or like freak out and drop their tails or something. <laughs> Look at that. Mm-hmm. These things are just... They're unbelievable, they're great. And we're gonna be selling them. This guy. So the Northerns are born a bit bigger um, than Easterns. So we're gonna do a size comparison. Grab, you can see, Eastern, Northern. That Eastern's probably a week or more older Yeah. than the, than the Northern. So, like twice the size. Mm -hmm. and let's look at like over here. Where was it? The yellow, super yellow ones we have. All right. Ton of yellow, very dark bars. So you can already see how light it is and it colors up as it gets older. This yep. one's gonna be super bright. This one's gone through two sheds. They pretty much shed as soon as they're born. And then you can see the remnants of the last shed. So it's still got a lot to go on developing colors. So that's just gonna brighten up even more. All right, you're on there, I see. Look at that. It's so orange. It glows. So Ryan. Yeah. Tell people some uh, reasons why they should get into a Northern Blue Tongue Skink. Well, they're very tractable. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they turn into a very good pet. They're a little sketchy when they're babies because they're afraid of being eaten by everything in the world. But as they grow and get used to it and get more confident, they calm down a lot. They can be very awesome, super easy to keep. We keep them just like we keep ball pythons, essentially. Uh, we like to offer UVB. Also, they're captive bred. Yeah, so These are all CB. So, and of course we've produced all these babies that, that we'll be selling here. And so what's good about captive bred, and sometimes you'll see, um, you'll see uh, some imports that are a lot cheaper. And the reason that they're cheaper is because they're plentiful if you have uh, Indonesian species and uh, they get imported all the time. And there's a lot of problems that can come from wild caught animals. So uh, having something that's, first even generation captive bred and born is uh, super valuable. So it's definitely worth a little extra money because you won't have all the issues that you might have with um, wild caught stuff. Man, they just don't care. They will just like jump right off a cliff. <laughs> Dummies. They are definitely not as bad as crested geckos. <laughs> <laughs> and we have some Easterns. They're just beautiful looking. So cute and little. Ryan's about to double them up right now. <laughs> so this Eastern, look how chocolatey the uh, dorsal along the, the back is. Just, it's crazy looking. A lot of disrupted aberrant pattern. The, the top is turning like this brown orange every shed. I don't know how well the camera is capturing those details, but 
It's very interesting. These are exciting for us. We hope to hold something like this back and kind of breed it back and then almost maybe get like a pattern was back. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. Like you could definitely do that polygenically. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, so on. we're planning on holding back five of each species. So we'll have essentially 42 Easterns for sale and 25 Northerns. Mm -hmm. And we have a couple people that... So hit us up. We have a couple <laughs> people that are uh, already putting their names in the hat. So uh, shout out to our Patreon uh, members okay. that are going to get... $5 level gets first choice and 10% off their order. So you guys are going to enjoy a little bit better deal. And um, we, we already know you guys. Yeah. And Betty, thank you so much uh, for reaching out to us all the time. Betty, you get to see all those baby Easterns and uh, you'll be picking up one uh, as soon as we're ready to ship. That should be maybe next week or the following. Well, those are our skinks, guys, and we really appreciate you guys watching this. I have a ball python because we do a lot of ball pythons, and this is a fire spot nose, het grail, possible het holy grail. So that's a het clown, het lavender albino, 50% het pied. Um, he's a breeder for us. We got him from Justin, and he's really pretty, and we have him doing some work this year, and we're really excited. Hopefully, we can, you know produce a lot of really crazy things with them. But again, if you guys could hit that like button down below, we really appreciate it. Make sure you guys are subscribed to us, hit that notification bell. And also make sure you please go over to Herp House Rock. It's our podcast channel. We got a lot of crazy stuff going on there. If you're into skinks, uh, we just had Don Patterson on last week and he, uh, we, we talked about some pretty touchy subjects with skinks. So make sure you guys go and watch that. So thank you guys so much. And we really appreciate you guys watching. What are we doing? <laughs> Alright. Thanks. Strange women lying in ponds, distributing swords. <laughs> Just because some watery tart <laughs> gave you a... Ben apologizes that he's being stingy with his stickers now. That is messed up. <laughs> I, we're running out. What do you want me to do? Listen, you want to be the sticker king. I'm the sticker king. I saw stickers. Sticker stall, man. <laughs> so, what do you want me to do now? Dan dance, monkey dance. You always <laughs> want to dance. I don't know, that's the only thing you're good at. I'm not good at dancing. You're good at rapping, and you won't do that on camera. <laughs> <laughs>